So in the last session we discussed about requirements like how to create your requirements in your ALM. This is what we discussed in the last session. So now what I want to do is I want to continue with other modules. I want to see that how my test cases will be created. I want to see that how my execution will start. Okay. Now I wanted to continue with that. Now in the last session I, I created one requirement and if you want to create I will create one more requirement here so that we will be comfortable. So what I will do is I, I wanted to create my one more requirement. Whenever if you want to create your requirement just right click on your uh, uh, what is that requirement and then you can create your test new test. New test now I am creating uh, one more test case here. So what I will do is right everywhere I am trying to create like couple of four test cases, couple of defects so that you guys will be comfortable. So I created today and my test case is this is used to verify the search functionality of the application of the application. So click on OK. Now this is one more test case I have created. Now here what I have done is right, I have created one more test case. Let me uh, write the steps for it as well. My steps. Quickly write the steps for it. Open the application. Open the URL and you can also add your parameters that is nothing but my URL my URL <coughs> my URL open my uh, application ok my expected result is application should open <coughs> okay then let me create one more step here my second step is second step is navigate to navigate to search page search screen should display display <coughs> now one more test one more uh, step enter search keyword enter valid search keyword keyword and click on so this is the way to write your test cases click on submit button click on submit button once it is done, then your search results will display accordingly. Okay. Search results should display accordingly. So whenever if you want to write your test cases, this is the way you will do in your quality center or ALM is the latest version. Okay. So now here right, I have created a couple of test cases and then uh, all the time whenever if you are creating your test cases, map your map with your requirement. That is very important. If you go to your requirement coverage from here, you can click on your select requirement. Then your, all the requirements will appear here. Click on this. Go to your uh, here. All the requirements will be available. Now this test case belongs to search functionality. Just map it. Click on this arrow icon, arrow icon so that it will be added. So this is the way, right? This is the way to link your test cases as well. Okay. So login with valid user. This is not done now. Okay, let me do that. So this is my add it. So that your test case will be linked with your requirement. Now if you want to cross check also, if you go to your requirements, it should display how many how many test cases are linked with each requirement. 
why it is not showing okay maybe some limitation that's fine so here this is the way to create your test cases see I, here i have created couple of test cases and for each test case what i did is i mapped with uh, with my requirement clear so how to do that uh, link defects analysis we will see in some time what is this link defects and then how to link the defects how to track the defects we will talk about that now till now what i understand is i understand that how to create my test cases in my quality center okay and let me see whether excel is available in my machine excel is not i need to install okay <clears throat> Okay, so this is how you can create your uh, test cases. Here also, what you can do is, if this, if if these particular test cases are applicable for your regression also, just imagine that the same test cases you will be using as part of your regression test cases. Then no need to create your test cases again. What you can do is, you can simply, right? You can simply copy this and your uh, paste here. Copy this and paste under this one. Paste. you can also simply copy paste it so here i am having some test cases now i wanted to copy these test cases and paste into other uh, module where it is required wherever you wherever it is required simply paste it that's it this is how you can maintain your test cases in your test plan so for example let me create one uh, non functional test case here what is non functional test case <coughs> so just right click on that new test now what is my non functional test case is nothing but verify the response time now in your requirement document they said that the response time of your uh, application should be less than 7 seconds this is the test case now what i will do is i will write my test case as verify the response time now here verify the response time so this is your description okay <clears throat> click on okay now here what you can do is you can uh, start designing your steps here so what is the design here open the application open the url application should open verify each page navig each page response the page so this is right uh, they said the page should load this is the requirement they said should load within 7 seconds if it is taking more than 7 seconds i will let's say that it's a defect so this is how you can uh, maintain your test cases now see now <clears throat> this is my project so, okay in this project i am doing my functionality testing for this functionality testing, I'm having uh, these test cases. And also here also, you are not uh, designing your test cases. You are not planning all these uh, folders and all. This is, this is, this will be done by the entire team. So what we will do is we will sit all together and then we will plan. Okay, function testing. This is what we are going to do. This is the fun function testing we are doing on that application. Regression testing. Regression testing means these are all the functionalities we are going to verify as part of your regression testing. Based on that only, you will be creating your test cases under that particular folder. <coughs> okay. Now my test cases are ready. So we are done with the requirements. We are done with the test cases. So test plan is nothing but the place where you will be doing your planning. For testers, what is the planning? Planning is nothing but test case creation. So here I will be doing my test case creation and also I will link my test cases with the requirements. This is what we discussed. Now, very important thing is test lab. Now this is the place where you will be doing your execution. This is the place where you will be doing your uh, execution. Okay. So go to your test lab and this is the place you will be doing your uh, execution. Just use the same folder like otherwise again that right, i'm telling you when you're working with any project and if you're creating your uh, plan for that particular project try to use the same naming convention so that it is easy for you actually now what i will do is i will be creating a folder 
so what is my folder cyclos execution just i'm giving one name here it's always said right, better to give the same naming conventions it is easy for you that's the only intention okay now what i am doing is now here i will be creating my proper uh, these things i will be creating my set for each and that means now what you are doing is you are trying to create a set of test cases for your testing purpose now what i will do here here i will say that cycle one test execution that means right once i release my cycle one and then i will be executing i will be executing these kind of test cases i will be executing cycle one test execution test cycle one execution that means right once you got your uh, cycle one from your developer what kind of uh, functionalities you are testing what and all test case you are executing so what i will do is i will make a set here now <coughs> this this set is this set of test cases will be executed executed on the cycle one that means whatever the test cases we are creating here this is executed for your uh, cycle one cycle one okay now I will give my name here now what you can is you can give the details also that here everything is actually right uh, empty because uh, our project is not configured and anyway here right it is not mandatory so what you can do, click on ok if it is mandatory then only problem see now it will create a folder proper folder clear so this is how you can do that now I will be creating one more cycle here one more uh, folder here now in this time what I will do I will say that cycle 2 so usually that even this planning also will be done by the lead but you have to give your inputs as well test execution please try to understand how I am creating this folder structures and all. this is important okay this set of test cases this set of test cases will be used for cycle 2 execution cycle to execution okay like this now like now this is how I created now what you can do is you can uh, you can assign the test cases for each and every cycle so what you said right here I am creating some set of test cases and in the in this set of test cases I wanted to execute my cycle one and for this cycle one I wanted to have my test case how to do that here you can see that select test you can see that one thing when you click on this select test, you will get this window. See, it is very simple and if you are following the sessions, no need to do your practice also. Click on select test, then automatically you will be getting all this uh, information like requirement tree and test plan tree. Now I wanted to take my test cases. What is my test cases? This is my test cases. These test cases, I am planning for this particular test cases, I am planning for my cycle one okay why it is not showing test test plant Okay, it is coming correctly. Yeah, I, I did that. I did that. Go to test it. One second. Hmm.
releases we map this is my requirements and in this requirements open my requirement here and then requirement traceability this is my requirement what is this this is my login functionality right let me add it okay let me add for this requirement traceability and requirements give the proper requirement one second why it is not only I give the requirements for each thing. Oh my God. Now these are the done right. Login with valid user. Yes, I properly did that. And then search functionality. I am done with this requirement coverage. Both are done. Then I am going to lab. And here in the lab, it is not showing my test cases. Okay. ID one execution grid is nothing but execution first right we need to complete why first I need to attach this uh, test cases here then only I will go to here see here how it will work means whatever the test cases you are planning to execute first you have to add all the test cases here then only all your execution grid all those stuff will come right this and all will come only after adding the test cases here I need to add the test cases Okay, then only it will come. Let me check why it is not uh, showing the test case. Select test, perfect. Then it is showing all the uh, this thing. That is also correct. Let me create once again. Test. One second, why it is not showing? Okay, 
under this click ok you test it test one still it is not showing One second, why it is not allowing me? It should allow. Hmm? Okay, let me do copy paste if it works. This is the test case I wanted to add for this. Uh, this is also not allowing. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. I'm deleting and then again I'm creating. <coughs> I'm create I'm deleting everything, okay? So I will freshly create it. Let me create uh, once again. So what you can do is here. Now my intention is ex execute the test cases. For that what I will do is first I will be giving my folder name. Give your cyclos execution. You can give any name for this. So better to have the same name. Now what you can do is you can try to create your set. Set is nothing but like now I wanted to use a set of test cases to execute for this particular cycle. So I will say that cycle 1 cycle 1 execution cycle 1 execution now if you want to give the information you can give it otherwise leave it now this set of test cases is used for cycle 1 execution 
cycle one execution okay click on okay now once you are done right once you have created then what it will is it will show your window like this then here you, you will be having all the details about your particular set then here you can see this one execution grid right now here what I will is first before executing first you need to add all your uh, required te test cases for that particular uh, set for that what you can is you can click on this first I need to add all my test cases select test now you can see all the available test from your uh, test plan whatever the test cases are available in that it will show as it is now select your test cases for that cycle now I want to plan these test cases okay and uh, Anu right other day you were asking me right right other day you were asking me like what what is the advantage of parameters now see when you are trying to when you are trying to plan for the execution immediately it is asking so are do you want to use the same parameters or you want to change the parameters you can change the parameters because earlier in the test plan that is the master test cases but this is the test cases based on the cycles now in like let's say for example if you want to use your username and password you can do that test cases will be same test cases will not change okay now you are adding this test cases for your execution now I wanted to add uh, this test case also because I am planning for these couple of test cases for my execution okay done done you have you have added your test cases now your test cases are added if you observe here right once you have added your test cases it will come like this your test cases will come like this if you want you can see that this is first test case and it's a manual task right now no run because nothing is done just right we added the test cases we haven't started our execution and all now this is your test name it will give all the information okay now once you are done with the execution then you will get all your timestamps and all okay fine now let me create one more uh, folder here like we are planning for uh, performance execution also performance testing in cycle 2 so what I will do I will create a new set test cycle 2 test cycle 2 execution this set of test cases is used for the test cycle 2 now whatever the test cases you are planning for this particular uh, test, uh, test cycle 2 you can add it just click on your select test then your uh, tree will open now for this particular uh, second cycle I want to plan for these test cases I can add it I can add these test cases because I am planning for regression testing as well as uh, search test cases so what you can do is you can simply add here like this that means right in your test, uh, test cycle 1 you are you are executing so on so test cases and your uh, test cycle 2 you are executing so on so test cases so this is how you can make your test cases available for your uh, test lab that is nothing but your execution folder okay now try to understand the remaining things okay we will come back to this run in some time okay first let's try to understand this one now if you see here why it is not accessible yeah earlier right uh, Anu right what I did is right I selected a wrong type I will tell you that okay I'll, I'll tell you that why I am not able to click this VM I will show you that what is the mistake okay but I am not able to click on this VM
Okay, VM got struck. Give me two minutes. VM got struck. Okay, so here what we have to do is right. Whatever the test cases you are planning for execution, just add it. Then it will be available in your test lab. And also I will show you what is the other options. What is the importance of other options also? So VM is not responding. Give me. Let me, let me do once again. It is not responding. There is some problem happening. That's okay. Okay. Okay, fine. So, okay, this is one. So, I know, right, you are asking me, like, what is the mistake we have done earlier? So, what I did is, right, when I go to my testing and when I go to my lab, while creating my test set, right, while creating my test set, what I did is, right, when right click, and when you're trying to create the test set here, now here, you have to select your default option. Don't select any other options like uh, performance or function. Just select your default option. That is the mistake I have done earlier. Okay. Now, now see here. Now I'm having all my test cases ready. I, I have my test cases in my cycle 1. I have my test case in cycle 2. Everything is ready. Now what I want to do is, one more thing is here, now just say for example, I am the lead for this project. And in my project, you all guys are working with that uh, testing. Now I wanted to give that execution time, you can do that. Go to that execution flow. And here what you can do is, you can give the time for each and every test case. And also I told you, 
if any changes happen like if any changes happen in your uh, quality center automatically a mail will be generated to the entire team now what i will do is i will be giving the time just double click on your test case so now what you will do it will ask you time dependency okay when you want to execute i want to execute this test case so on so time and so on so now i want to execute this test case with so on so time now a mail will be generated to that particular team member and then he will know that okay i wanted to execute this test case with so on so time it will show you the timestamp see here what time you are executing so you can you can also have your test uh, time for each and every test case okay, let me give the time for this also i want to execute this test case tomorrow like this now as a tester what you have to do is you have to execute this test case on so on so particular time okay and one more thing is see here now if i want to execute my search test case first i want to complete my login test case then only i want to go with my search for that also you can make it a dependency now what i will do is search functionality search functionality what i will do go to your execution condition and click on your execution condition and here what i will do is if you are planning with your uh, search one first what you have to do is make sure that this test case is done then only you can go ahead with your search like this see now what will happen this is a dependency that means you are starting your execution at uh, so and so time and first you are starting with this with this execution once it is done then only you will go to the second test case if first test case is failing then no need to go to the second test case so what you are doing is you are trying to give your uh, execution dependencies now if i am having 100 test cases on which flow you want to execute you can give all the execution you are giving some flow and all so obviously right see if you want to test the search functionality if login is not working then what is the point of executing search tell me so obviously what will happen is if search is failing the entire test cases will become no run so what i will do is i will go with my search once i am done with login so this is how you can provide your execution flow that means at right, how you are going to execute your test cases you will provide here and automation right now we are not talking any automation here forget about that and how to link the defects yes i will tell you in some time okay fine so this is how like you can get your uh, test cases here once your test cases are ready here now whatever the test cases you are planning for this particular cycle you will get all the test cases here right now it is showing that no run if you observe that this is the default status of any test case once the execution is over then it will become pause or fail based on your uh, execution that means now if you want to execute you can see that click on run click on run when you click on run then it will open a manual runner this is called this it will open a manual runner that means you started the execution for your uh, test case begin run see this is also manual testing but you are doing all the testing it with your tool itself begin run okay now here also you can do your changes anu like right now while executing my test case now i want to change my test data i want to change my parameters i can do my changes here i can do my changes if you want to do your changes whatever the values you want right you can change according to your names then what it will do is it will start your execution okay step 1 okay what is step 1 open the url what is the url here what is your url you can click on your show parameters you will get to know what is the url whatever the url is there in your test case then take your browser wherever you are testing and take your url and go to the application and then open your url here open your url okay 
my URL is opening. Let me take the right URL. So what I will do is I will be taking my URL. Okay. What is my expected result here? See VM will be little slow. So you should be some patience. VM right. So little slow. So URL. Okay. This is my URL. Okay. Got it. Now what I will do is I will be writing my actual result. What is my actual result? Yes. Application is displayed. You can write your uh, actual result. Now what you have to do is for each and every test case you need to change the status. Now expected and actual is matching. Yes, it is matching. So what you have to do is you have to change the status as pass. And here right you are seeing different different uh, statuses like pass. Pass is nothing but whenever expected and actual is matching we will say that pass. Whenever that uh, expected and actual is not matching we will say that fail. And sometimes what will happen is uh, these test cases are not applicable for this release or maybe that particular feature is not implemented by your uh, developer. Then you can make the status as blocked. And uh, if you are writing some invalid test case, then it will become not applicable. So mostly passed and fail will be important. So I will say that pass. Okay. Go to the second step. See here right, you have to update for each and every step. Then only it will uh, update your results in your uh, test lab. Step 2 and one more point here at least one of the step is failing your entire test case will fail. If all pass then only it will say the test case pass. Step 2 enter username and password. What is my username and password? If you want you can check your parameters. Demo 1 demo 1. Okay. Go to the application. Enter username. Demo 1. Enter password click on submit okay yeah what is my test case says go back my just enter username yes enter name enter name is display okay fine save it no no no, no need to save it also okay just change the status that's it auto save pass now what is the third step Third step is nothing but click on submit. Yes, home page display. Just now I logged in successfully. Then I will say that displayed. Now what I will do is I will make this test case as pass. I will make this as pass. I will make this as a pass. Okay. Now, right. Okay, you are done. You are done with your uh, this particular test case. And here one more point is right now if you want to execute your uh, one one step also you can click on this compact view. So that it will go to that particular step. It will come like this. Both are same actually. Okay. If you click on this right it will be displayed your particular steps under. If you are uh, executing like this with this window or if you want to execute with a separate window both are same. Okay, done. So I am done with my execution for this particular test case. Once you are done, stop it. Once you are done, stop it. Then it will auto. It will uh, update your uh, test lab. See how nicely it is saying that pass. Got it. Now let me take the second test case. Let me take the second test case. Click on run. Okay. Click on run. Now here begin run begin run okay fine begin run now if you want to go with compact view you can go with that otherwise it is fine no problem step one open the url yes what is my application application is opened application is open okay second step and make the status as pass and second step Navigate to search page. That means go to your application and here you can navigate to search page. Okay. Search screen should display. Yes. Search screen 
is displayed. So everything what you can do is right, you can take your application and see that what is happening. And then step three, enter your valid search keyword and click on submit button. Now what you can do is, what he is saying is, now if you are in the application and if you are doing your uh, search functionality, what you can do is, you can enter your valid search keyword and when you click on enter then, see, your results should display. Yes, it is working. So if results are displaying, yes, I am good. If it is not matching, then I will raise that as a defect. Display. I will make the status as fail. So this is how you can you can do your execution. Okay, clear. Now what I will do is I will make one fail test case because we need to discuss about the uh, defects also. I will uh, write one test case which which will fail because you remember uh, while writing our test cases uh, we see some uh, failed test cases. Okay, what I will do is I will write one more test case for this. I will write one more test case for this. Go to my test plan. Let me write one more test case. New test. Search with invalid dates. Okay. Fine. Creation date is today my steps I'm quickly writing this okay Okay, one more step. Enter invalid date range date range from date on to date as future dates. Just I am trying to write one more test case where it will fail. Okay. Error message should display. Now, this is my test case. Now, if you want to create your test case, just simply go to your uh, test plan and create it. And actually, I am planning this test case for my test cycle one. What you can is, for this, select your test. Once your test case is available in your test plan, you can see all your tests here. All your tests here. Select your uh, this one, add it. Now I wanted to execute this test case. I wanted to execute this test case. Click on run. So this is how you can uh, do your execution with this tool. Now begin run. Okay. Now first step. First step open the URL. Anyway I check so many times. So you can uh, yeah, that application is open. That is fine. Second step, navigate to the search screen. Yes, I am in the search screen. Okay. Got it. My third step, error message should display. That means right here, you are trying with your enter invalid date range. Go to your application and here what you are trying to do is, you are trying to enter both your uh, from date as well as to date are the future dates. What will happen? You should get a proper error message. But let's see what is happening. See, you are not getting any message. That means now what I will do, I will fail this test case. First one is first step is good. I am good with the first test, first step. I am good with the second step. But third step, what is happening? I will say that my third step is no message 
no error message is coming but just the page is refreshed page is refreshed that's it so now what I will do I will make this as a fail because my expected and actual is not matching when you say that fail I told you if at least one step is failing your entire test case will fail see here and also you will be getting your report also if you observe here right you will be getting your report also like first each and everything right for each and every test case you will get the report here this is in your first test case you are having three steps and uh, each each and every step it will show you that description here and if you see the third test case if you see the third test case one is fail one is fail this is my expected and actual result this is why it is failing now whenever my test case is failing then my defect will comes into picture so is this execution is clear first of all now tell me is this execution is clear or not and also it will update your entire thing see when you have executed what is the time each and everything it will display everything it will display that's why right everywhere right there will be a tracking tell me like uh, if you are clear with this execution or not then I will proceed to that defects folder see as I said right if you are working with one test case in your entire tool that means end to end flow from beginning to ending if you are uh, doing one time one complete cycle then you will be comfortable and you can work with any application the same story will happen okay fine now what I will do is here I am done with my execution once you are done with your execution then what you can do is you can go to your defects defects is very important right here uh, now what you can do is you can see some uh, execution reports and all you can see some reports if you want you can go to your test runs and you can see some uh, execution reports okay mostly right you can go to your test lab only just go to your test lab and in this test lab only you can execute and in the test lab itself we can see the results no need to go to again test runs and all right anyway I can see the results here itself right but this is one more extra option if you want you can have a look on this as well okay fine so once my execution is done and if any test case will is there like any test case is uh, failing my defects will comes into picture that means I told you whenever if any test case is failing right then your defects comes into picture now once you click on right, once you click on your uh, defects then it will display your uh, all the defects right now I, I have only one defect right now I am having only one leak, one defect. Okay. Right now, right uh, for that what you call learning purpose, I logged one defect. However, we will try to log one more defect. Just go to your defect, and then you know that what is the defect. Right. For that, what you can do, click on your new defect. Click on your new defect. Now this window will open. Now what you have to do is you have to log your defect. Now. What is my defect now? My defect is uh, error message. Validation. So I am writing my defect summary. Validation for invalid date range. Invalid date range is not available. That means right when I am trying to work with my invalid date range, then my validation is missing okay fine now what you can do is you can uh, give all the details here you can give all the details saying that what is this defect all about this defect is detected by so and so you can give your name and when you detect it today and right, whenever if you are having your red color that means it's a mandatory field severity right we discussed the other day like what is severity and what is priority 
severity is nothing but the importance of the defect with respect to the end user so now it is how it is impacting now if you see this right this defect is impacting that end user more because now when i'm trying to work with the invalid dates right user don't know what is happening just page is refreshing but he don't know what is happening so with respect to end user it is important with respect to end user it is uh, important uh, not very high it is high i want to fix that issue because with respect to end user right you will feel bad now what you can is if you want you can also give in the all the other fields like where you found this defect i found this defect in my in my this one april release and i detected in this cycle click on okay 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 One second. Okay. So here, like, what you can is you, you can also give like cycles where you find this uh, defect and all. So that it will be easy for you, like uh, while getting your reports and all. Now, what you can do is you can start uh, giving that uh, description for that particular defect. What is the defect? Like how you can reproduce the defect? You can talk about that defect. I will give the steps for it. Now, what I will do? I will write the steps. Now what I will do, I will be writing my steps. Now. Steps to reproduce. Open the application. Open the application. Navigate to. Navigate to search field. Write the complete information of your defect. When you are raising any defect, uh, don't give like uh, half of information. Always try to give the complete information. Navigate to search screen. And then. Enter. From date. And. to date as future dates enter from date and to date as future date click on search button so you have to give the complete information and verify the application behavior application behavior now what is happening right actually you you are supposed to get your uh, error message but here you are not getting any error message what you can do is if you want you can also write like this expected result error message error message should come actual result no error message is coming so like this so this is the way to write your uh, proper steps and all okay now see i gave all the information about my defect and also i gave my description how i can reproduce the defect and also give the attachment 
giving the attachment is very very important if you're not giving that uh, attachment then it will be a problem okay if you are uh, right not giving that attachment then your developer may come back and you will ask can you please give me like some more information on the defect that will be a problem so always try to give as much as you can whatever the information you can give give each and every information now here I am trying to give some attachments here how to give the attachments here you can see that click on attach then it will open your uh, dialog box and you can attach that screenshot whichever you want like say for example if my screenshots are available in my local machine then what you can do is go to that particular uh, screen, uh, go to that particular picture and then you can add it now otherwise say for example I forgot to take that screenshot then what you can do is you can also see one uh, camera icon click on this camera icon and then it will open a window like this now you can uh, take this uh, camera icon and what you can do is you can drag and drop in your application then the screenshot will be captured by the tool itself so you can also do like this attach it you can also do like this see here right when you want to attach your screenshots you can attach your screenshots by clicking on this file icon that is one way and then you can attach your uh, screenshot if it is available in your machine otherwise otherwise what you can do is you can also take a screenshot directly from your uh, tool itself just click on this icon drag and drop this uh, camera icon that's it it will take the screenshot so whichever the way you want you can do that now I added my screenshot now here here I gave all the information, I gave my all the information how you can reproduce the defect. This is more than enough. Then once you click on submit, the defect will be submitted and assigned to I forgot. Huh? Okay. Actually we will give this assign to also. Okay. Assign to means the defect will be assigned to that particular person. You can also do some changes like by click on this. When you click on this, then your defect will be open here. Once you click on this, your defect will be open now you can also do some modifications here now I wanted to give that uh, assign to click on assign to and whoever that uh, developer just assign him just assign him and then once you click on assign right click on ok now what will happen is I told you whenever if there is any changes is happened automatically a mail will be generated and particularly a mail will be separately went to that separately will go to that particular assigned to person then what you will do is they will start fixing it and one more thing is right whenever if you are opening this defect right you can see the complete information about this defect like what are all the changes are happened and then who did the changes everything you can see here if you go to history see So if you see here this defect is logged and so and so and like I did some changes even this will also be tracked each and everything will be tracked who did the changes what you did see I in the change to I did the changes assigned to admin this is what I did in the change two. so okay this is how you can uh, log your defect So this is how you can log a defect. Fine. So what I will do is right uh, tomorrow I will uh, complete this uh, like linking the defects to your uh, test lab, linking the defects to your requirements. I will complete it and also tomorrow I will show you the reports also. Tomorrow I will complete this tool. We are having two more things. Okay.